Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. It is time to level up the b b b Vink Storm b b Battle Gear. Finally, jeez, I was holding myself off for such a long time to level this bad boy up. Anyway, hello everyone, it is Iververse and welcome back to yet again another epic episode of Knights of Dragon. So yesterday outside of the Flourish chest, we got ourselves our prize jewel of the Wingstorm Battle Gear. Let me just equip it on my main knight and actually show it off to you guys. Oh man, this is just phenomenal. It looks really cool with the little ghost behind it, it's like it's haunted or something like that. Because essentially it is, you know, it's always, I am never in the ability to get a really good epic until now. It is still a mono, that is the only downside, but it's ridiculously strong. The base stats already exceed both a thousand attack and defense. So I cannot complain, right? I cannot complain. So if you guys say lucky, I think I deserve it after one year of hard work and effort putting into my YouTube videos and never getting anything. The first time I actually spent it, I didn't get anything. That was when I reached 100 subscribers. Then I did another Mardi Gras chest, like 11 of them. Didn't get anything either. And now finally I got something. So that is really, really epic. I think I'm going to end up using the um, female version in the end. And look at it. The the little, I don't even know, the little lens or the little like ending is like kind of glowing. It's little particles coming off of it. Looks really cool. So let's equip it. And we're just going to go ahead and make our move to the enhancing studio. In which we're just going to level this bad boy up as soon as we can to the max. So... Let me actually first sell off my armors that I don't need. Like, all of these are just getting in the way. Um, do I want to sell one stars? Do I want to sell them? Probably I do, but I'm just gonna keep them in regardless, you know? I'm just gonna keep them in regardless. Okay, so here we go. Um, let me see. I still got one of these. Let me just put it in. Okay, here we go. We're getting started on this amazing road of leveling this one up. And as all feel, uh, as always, I'm going to show you guys the transformations and everything of these armors. Uh, getting it up to the max. Like, in the end, we're just going to be using the Fusion Boost armors. Um, I think... We are for sure getting this bad or bad boy up to level 99. If you guys haven't seen it, by the way, uh, off topic, I actually just released a giveaway for Criminal Legacy on my channel as well. If some of you guys are still playing Criminal Legacy, I would really recommend you guys go ahead and check it out because, you know, the giveaway is going to be ending on Saturday. It's an epic account with some uh, chest or, like, uh, or, or Guild War legendaries, and I really feel that you should that you guys are missing out on something if you guys don't participate in that at least if you're playing knights of dragons and you like criminal legacy as well make sure to head over to my other video and participate you just need to comment your line id and it can be switched over to you no problem if you're on ios either because uh criminal legacy luckily enough is connected unlike knights and dragons so ios and android can basically transfer characters to each other level 18 right now i think we're almost there for the first transformation and this is going to be doing it so here we go. The first transformation, it's growing and it's glowing. And the little mask is kind of increased. The hair at the back as well. The shield is a little bit bigger. I'm really curious towards the, towards the weapon. So we're going to actually show it off to you guys right now. So, what does this look like? Kind of expanded the, the, the edge of the lance. Oh, I, I don't even know what it is. It's like a lance. The edge kind of expanded. And I still think that the ghost behind it look really nice. Now let's take a look at the female version here. The female version looks really cool. And I think I'm going to make the color, the skin color, a, bit of, a little bit dark. I think that looks really cool in contrast. Just like that. Like a white knight uh, with, with black skin. I don't know. I'm not racist or anything. I just think it looks really cool. So yeah. That's just my opinion, really. Okay, let's keep on going. Uh, it's time for level 20 to level uh, 50, because at level 15, it goes to the final transformation. And I have a bunch of two stars. I might be even able to level it up to the max with just two stars. If I do, that's gonna be insane. But honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. But look at this. Look at all these two stars. All of them. Gonna be using them, especially those 88 flowstone battle gears. We're gonna use all of them, because otherwise, they're just going to be... Uh, um, using too much space in my inventory, that's something that I definitely do not want to happen. So, here we go, just gonna keep on going. And, you know, you guys keep asking me about the giveaways that I have planned onto my channel. There's more giveaways coming, you know. Christmas is not like it's this month. It's gonna be next month. But next month's gonna be crazy, absolutely crazy in terms of giveaways. I was thinking about doing, like, a, gi a week of giveaways in which I'm going to give away, like, gift cards and stuff like that. As, as a matter of fact, if you're watching right now, here's an iTunes gift card for the U.S. region. I cannot give away, um... 
I should have put it. Uh, I, I, I basically partnered up with Freema Apps. Uh, and, and basically what they uh, provide are US gift cards for iOS and Android. Just gave you guys a iTunes gift card for, for the United States uh, iTunes store. I believe if you actually switch regions, you're able to actually redeem it. But you gotta be quick because otherwise everybody else is just going to redeem it. So uh, congratulations to the winner. Um, I just felt like throwing it out there for your continuous support. Like the amount of reactions that I've been getting and the likes especially... On the previous video of me opening up those chests was just absolutely amazing. Right now level 38 we are nearing the final transformation of the Wingstorm Battle Gear. Uh, is it called Battle Gear? I'm not sure. Let's actually find out. Like I keep like forgetting the name. Wingstorm Battle Gear. I need to get used to it really. I really need to get used to it. So now we're around the point where we only gain one level and a lot of experience onto the second level once we level this one up. So as you guys can see we're getting like two levels every single level. Let's see how long that actually holds up if we use the regular armors not the same elements. Because same elements give like 20 to 25 additional experience on top of what you already have. And you guys already see it we're getting exactly two levels. So... I'm going to insert all of these right now to see how far this goes up to right now. And it should go up to level 46 with a bit of experience more. Just a little bit, so uh, it's even less than two levels right now, which is really, really crazy. I actually want to save those er uh, air for a little bit later. Let's actually continue until we used up the Mountain Shroud and the Forge those Garps. Uh, Forge Master's Garps. And... Um, I don't know about you guys, but let me know when you guys want to be getting that Fusion Frenzy episode. I think I'm going to be doing it tomorrow, but I'm not sure about it right now. Anyway, right now it should go up to the final transformation. So here we go. Level 50. Oops. I was mistaken. Almost level 50. I was so sure that it was going to get there. Anyway, it should get up there right now. So here we go. Final transformation. And there we go. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That looks really awesome. The pattern and everything changed as well on the shield and uh, the whole the whole the whole face is kind of covered right now with the mask. Uh, the same type of like the weapon, it comes back into the little emblem or something. What's on on the forehead looks really cool. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at this armor right now because I'm really curious to to watch it. Oh wow, that looks absolutely insane. Should I keep the cape in here? Because I think the cape looks really cool and right now it doesn't matter what the skin tone is anymore. So I'm gonna swap it to my usual one. But what do you think of that cape? I think it looks really cool like a cursed kind of kind of thing. This is the female version. Uh, the female version looks really cool as well. Um, I think they're equally as good looking. Um, probably looks better with the female version but then without the Halloween cape. Maybe some of the other capes. I don't think it really fits though. This actually doesn't look too bad, don't you guys think? I, I think it looks quite good. How about this one? No, that doesn't look good at all. Without the cape, female version looks really good without the cape. Uh, but I don't know, Halloween cape or Celestial capes, I'm not sure about it. But Celestial cape looks really cool with this one as well. Um, let me know, I'm really curious. I think it looks cool with the Celestial cape, but the Halloween cape is also giving some sort of kind of aura to it. And then we're going to keep on going here because we're far from finished. We're not even halfway there yet. If you look at terms of experience, we're like one third in the way right now. So uh, going up to level 53. We actually finally arrived at the Flowstone Battle Gears. And that's going to be really interesting because this is going to be the moment in which we're going to be seeing if this one goes up to the max or not with just two stars. If it does... That will be absolutely insane. Remember, if you're really curious to know why I got so many Flowstone Battle Gears, there was this veteran pack pretty recently. And in the veteran pack, I basically spent a lot of gems, uh, actually bought a lot of these packages, and you will be getting one Flowstone Battle Gear every single time. And that package is such a good deal because I got like 2,000 gems uh, for $100. So it's even better than a 40% sale, in my honest opinion. So yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I would definitely wait for... Stuff like that or a 40% sale. Um, the nice thing to that as well is that I got some money. Because we need money in order to enhance. Right now it's 78,000 gold. And it gets up to 120. And that's where it gets really expensive. But I think by that time we're either already done with the 2 stars. Or going to just be using fusion boost armors. So I think it goes up by 3,000 per level right now. Let's actually see. One level, it was like 84 just now. Right now 88, and that's 4,000 I think, I'm not sure. Uh, let's actually watch. 
Going up to two levels here. It was 88, now it is 96. So that's 4,000 per level, I believe, yeah. And now we're gonna go to 100,000 per four armors. 25,000 per armor, level 70. We're getting close, and we still have a lot of these armors left, really. Still got 50 of them left, which is just absolutely ridiculous. I don't know about you guys, but I get the feeling we might be able... Let me actually think here. We might be able to make it or not. Hmm. 20 levels, 4 armors per level. I don't think we will. I think we're getting to level 90 for sure. Uh, or not. I think we are. And then we're going to have to use Fusion Boost armors to uh, actually end it off. So that's going to be pretty interesting. And Fusion Boost armors. I still have like 100 of them. Almost 100 of them. Let me actually count. We got 24 here. We got 25 here. That brings us to 49. 8 more. That is 57. Plus 19. Okay, not as much as I expected. We got more like 75 or so. But yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to uh, fast finish this until... Uh, or just speed it up until I've used all of the Flowstone Battle Gear. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, 89, and I believe that I was right about the fact that we will be getting it up to level 90. I think it's going to be level 90 exactly, but I'm not sure. Yeah, level 90, that is just really awesome. So we got it up to level 90 with just the two stars. So I'm going to be using the Air Fusion Boost armors right now. Let's just watch the difference here, because here is just where it really starts to kick in pretty badly. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five levels right off the bat. Like five and a half levels. And I believe we need four more. And then it's going to get maxed out. So, here we go. Fusion boost armors. Going in there. Get in there. And level 18, 8. Oh, yes. We made it up there. And look at the defense. Over 2,000. That's just the armor alone. Not the character stats. Not the guild bonus or stuff like that. Just the armor itself. That is... That is uncalled for. Let's actually watch the damage here. Wow. Almost 3,000 defense here. That is like the best armor uh, that I ever had. So regular armor um, is almost able to go over 3,000. I'm the guild master of my guild. We have all of the bonuses maxed out. So this is the stats with the, just the mono. So I imagine if it was a dual element armor. For example, air with fire or with earth or something like that. It would already exceed over 3,000 defense. But right now ridiculously powerful armor let's actually take it to the test here on the epic boss uh Tempurus. oh i need to restart let's the actually game. see if the heroic path is already unlocked and it's still inactive and i have no idea when it's going to be active you guys seem to keep on asking me when it's going to be active and all of that good stuff but it, honestly i know as much as you guys but the moment i get news about it i'm going to show it off to you guys like right off the bat because wow i really like that little aura sorry for going off topic here but i like the little aura that the armor has it is really kind of cool looking okay temperance the new epic boss is, is here i haven't really like uh taking a look at it because well if we go to my armors I have like 3 million left by the way, 3 million gold. If I go to my armor, so let's actually see if I can craft something. Oh, over here. Uh, I think I might. No, no more armor slots, you see that? So, I have so many, I have so many armors right now. And they're all 2 stars and above, like... Hold up. All these 3 stars, I'm gonna be fusing those away. I have no more 2 stars left, literally just fusion boost armors, uh, my nemesis that I'm gonna... Let's actually level up that nemesis, let's see what that does. Sorry for jumping topics here and there, um, I'm just really curious. Is it worth it to level up? Yeah, let's just do it anyway. I actually might want to be getting that epic boss armor because the epic boss armor looks really cool. And we go, can make some use out of those fire. Whoa! Level 28 right off the bat, let's just max this thing out right away. Because I don't see myself using those fusion boost armors anyway. Whoa, that is insane. I think we need like one more armor. Um, yeah, which one then? Uh, not the armor of the four lots. I want to be using those for fusing. Let's just put one spirit in. Max this bad boy out. I mean, jeez. 
I cannot even craft anything because of that. Level 99 and bam, 50. Maxed out. Temperus and Emesis looks really cool too uh, over here. This one's maxed out, but it does three times the amount of damage. You gotta keep that in mind. I have another one. Let's level that one up as well. No, you guys are gonna bash on me if I'm if I'm actually gonna be doing that. So next episode will be me fusing away my three stars. And I'm not sure if that's gonna be coming out today or tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. Uh, maybe today. But leave your suggestions in the comment section down below, which you guys already did in the previous episode anyway. So I have a bunch of these uh, legendaries right now that we can fuse away. And I think at the beginning of next week or this weekend, we're going to be fusing away those legendaries because I also want to be crafting these two. And, and, and of course some other armors if we can But these two are going to be added to the collection So I'm not entirely sure I'm not going to be doing a uh, I'm not going to be doing a interactive fusion frenzy Because that just takes too long uh, But I am definitely going to be doing a massive uh, fusion frenzy And hopefully getting an epic as well um, One last thing I just wanted to show you guys it attacking Because I almost forgot about that So let's actually go ahead and do that Add this one in here So Man this epic boss looks really cool Futuristic Kind of reminds me of Tron in a way. Uh, I don't know if you guys if you guys know that, but uh, it's really really cool. I don't remember if it's just a game or a movie, but bam, there you go. It wasn't spectacular at all or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be doing it for this episode of Knights and Dragons. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, make sure that if you guys like this video, to boom, give it a thumbs up. This has been Reverse of Knights and Dragons. I'm gonna be signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.